The Jamaica Football Federation, the JFF, is still in focus on the Sportsmax zone. A race is brewing amongst the incumbent president, Michael Ricketts, and his vice president, Raymond Anderson, to determine who will be in charge of Jamaica's football over the next presidential cycle. The election is set to take place before year-end and will feature these two pillars of Jamaican football, who have both involved for over four decades. Joining us in studio to officially throw his name in the ring is none other than Raymond Anderson. Good afternoon, how are you? Good afternoon, I'm fine. All right. Thanks for having me. Yeah, not a problem at all. So Raymond, uh, many people when they saw your name coming up to go up for presidential elections, at first were a bit shocked. And maybe it's because of the post that you held, because even for me, I was like, oh, the vice president? He's now going up to be the president. So you talk to me about that decision. Yes, um, I always said I'm a vice president, but I'm a vice president for the past 18, 20 years. And um, I would see a lot. I would see the lay of the land. I'd, I'd work at least with um, five presidents. So going through all of that daily, my task was operation. So I see it all. Now at this crossroad, I really looked at where we are with football and where I, as Raymond and this can help. So I continue to think about it. And um, where we are is not satisfactory for us in football. And, and most of you already discuss it. Every time you listen to news, people discuss it. So for me, I looked at the people around us look internal and external, and um, we decide that for us to move to the next level, you're going to need somebody who is an action person and also have people around you with the skill sets. So I look outside for some people, and I look inside for some people, and all of them, after discussion, they agree to serve if we get the chance. Yeah. So I went ahead and said, well, if I get this team together, then we can make a difference with the football at this time. Yeah. That is why I really actually put my hat in the ring. But because you were associated with the Michael Ricketts organization, do you feel as if that would be a stain? Oh, maybe it would work for you or against you? Because people will say, but maybe you are part of the problem as well. Did you ever think about that? I always think because um, collective responsibility right. is where my experience is. And I've never moved away from that. Mm -hmm. But if you ask me equally, while I was there assisting, remember I was a vice president. Yes. And um, you have leadership as a president. So most of us walk in the leader dream. I understand. Now, if you find that over time that change is needed, and if you do continue to do the same thing, the same way, ear in, ear out, you're going to get the same result. Where we are now, we want to move to our next level. And the next level is upward. So I think at this time, that is why I put myself in So it. what are we getting different from you? What have you, you know, what have you thought about? Well, for me, in, well, for me at this time, you know, we have to be more decisive. We have to also be inclusive and consultative. Now, if we get, for example, the inclusivity of the sport, where you have all the stakeholders come together, agree on one thing and move forward, continue on the line of transparency and going forward, try to get the football family to trust you to move forward, then we will have something different from what we have now. Mm. Um, Raymond, you touched on something just now about um, assisting over the years, serving as vice president. Um, the inside story from the administrative fraternity is that you've been the workhorse. Um, you, you've been a, a hard worker and uh, doing a lot of work behind the scenes supporting the presidents who would be the persons delivering to the public. But there is a view that you've been a tremendously hard worker over that period 
and uh, maybe I'm thinking that it's part of what you're saying when you say that you've been there assisting all along and you have the acumen to now step up to lead at a different level or a higher level. Is, is that what I'm hearing? Yes, that's what, that is exactly what took place. And um, I, all the president, and I don't refer to only the present president, yeah. going back to even the former president who was sitting here earlier, he would tell her that I'm one of the persons who always give an assignment and always fulfill the assignment. And um, at time, I don't want to refer to myself anymore as the blue collar vice president because I'm moving from the blue collar to the leader, right? And there's a reason for that because I've seen it all. And um, we want to ensure with my team, which have the skill set inside and outside, to really move to the next level. That again, that's why I'm moving. But Do you believe that the change in the constitution from 13 delegates voting to now 56 embracing a multidimensional part of, of, of the stakeholders puts a challenging president in a better position to unseat a standing president? Yes, I'll say yes. And um, that, that's how we in the right direction because um, Again, if you have more stakeholders, more people who are involved with the sport, really decide who lead the sport, that will be, that's the best thing. So moving away, no disrespect to my colleagues as parish presidents, right? right? But you need to have more stakeholders so, inside the sport. So, so Raymond, I agree with that. Do you, do you think your strength going into this election lies with the 13 parish bosses, or does it extend across the gamut of the stakeholders who will be voting? I think it extends across, and I'll tell you why. I am, I am there as an operational person, so at all times, I touch all sections of the sport. Mm. So I think it's good for me. Mm. I, I, I want to ask you this, because Tony James referenced it just now about the difficulty of uh, administration for football because of a serious lack of funding. What could you tell the football public in Jamaica to give them confidence that you would energize the financial growth of the JFF? Because it's very clear that part of the lack of development of football is because it's difficult to finance it. Yes, I agree with that. But um, I'll again equally say that if you get the public, the football public and the public at large, on your side. You, you're, you're listening to the, the media where everybody's saying that we need transparency, we need to trust footballers, etc. If we get these people by being transparent, being engaging them into football, get them involved, inclusivity side, they will participate. And if we get them there, people, the business sector, want their products to be unsure, but they want to associate with our good vibes of football, so we'll have them. Sportsmax.tv ran a story a few weeks ago quoting the president, Michael Ricketts, as saying that he embraces the challenge of Raymond Anderson. You've worked together for a very, very long time. And he embraced the challenge and didn't feel that it would affect, you know, the sort of relationship that you, you've had. Uh, have you detected any change in your interaction with him since your decision to challenge him? No, and I don't expect that either because um, football is football. We're a family, but as you know that leadership change, and this is one of the times that we believe that leadership should change. That is why I put myself, but there will be no problem with myself and yeah. present yeah. president. Right. Before we get ready to go, tell us a bit about your team because I know you have some names that are well known in Jamaica. I'm seeing one sitting right in the back here looking on at us. So tell us a bit about your team that you'll be working with. So, so when, when I decided to really put my hat in the ring, as literally said, that I know that I have to look around, internal and external. And I, and I know you're speaking of Carol. She, <laughs> She was there, I, I, I met her sometime long ago and other sport, but we have to serve on a committee at the JOA, which I am also a director. And that committee was Flame Commission. 
she was the person who lead in the whole thing. And based on the decisiveness, the, the hungry for reach deadlines, and I said, yo, this lady is great, <laughs> you know? So I keep on talking with her, and she said, so when I, took, I remember what she said, when the time is right, you will know. And he didn't, she didn't have to tell me when the time is right. I feel the time is right, so I will. So I went back to her, and she said, done, she will serve with us. After I explained everything, so, and I looked at Dave also, and Dave again served on a committee with us, really deal with the dispute of players. And believe me, he was a chairman. That's and Dave Cameron, former Cricket Dave West Cameron, president. Yeah, Dave yeah. Cameron. West. And based on that, Dave got us done this dispute amicably, and I think with given time. So again, I went to him, and he, he said yes. So I didn't stop there. There another lady inside the audience there. I went, I tried to find her, and when I find her, <laughs> I asked her again to serve, and everybody saying yes, I said, well, this is great. Yeah. And, um, and we looked around, I went even further, people mentioned Issa, I looked across the Issa line, I said, well, this president is a good man. If I get him on my team, then the JFF will be, will be happy. Yeah. Only positiveness, and he accepted. So based on all of that, and we're also looking out inside of the football, and we look at two presidents, We should be named, nameless for this time, based on political reason, right? You'll have to know I'm in an election, right? When you say two presidents, two what do you mean? of the president of the parishes. Of the parishes. Right, so it's seven is there, seven people will be on the slate, right? So I just named five. Yes. So we looked at those people and we know with the skill set, the marketing skill set, the financial skill set that we lacking at this time, and we asked these people to serve. And if they, we based on what they've done at this time, we believe that we can only go forward. Yeah. Well, Raymond, we're going to take a quick break, but we're keeping you with us so we can talk a bit more. So we'll be right back after this quick break. On our football heavy Sports Max Zone show for this Thursday, we continue to discuss uh, the presidential race for the Jamaica Football Federation. And Raymond Anderson, vice president of the JFF and uh, challenging to be president, uh, is with us live in the studio at the moment. Raymond, it is my understanding that the election has to be held by, I think, the third week in December. And the constitution requires that the election date has to be announced, uh, I think, 60 days before uh, the election date, which means that a date announcement for the election should come pretty soon, maybe next week. Is that your understanding? That's my understanding, and the Constitution spoke for that. Mm. So, and, so we are looking forward to hear from our board yes. that to sign off on the day of the election. Yeah, um, Mariah has some questions to ask you about your manifesto, because I remember when Michael Ricketts was um, challenging for the presidency back in 2017, he simply said on the Sports Max Zone that he did not have a manifesto and he would deliver the manifesto after the election, which we found ridiculous at the time. But then he won and he probably knew he was going to win. So um, it was, you know, water on the, under the bridge, really. But um, I want to say this quickly before we talk about your manifesto that I saw you on a TVJ presentation some weeks ago and the narrative from the public responding to that presentation was that you did not look impressive and they were not impressed by what you were saying and how you were saying it and um, it, it was generally not a favorable public response to that presentation. Did you get that feedback and could you respond to that? No, I'm sorry for them to really think that way but um, what there's some of the questions that was hawks. I didn't want to answer them straight, really straight because I, I always remember collective responsibility. And the question was hawks that some straight question, I need some straight answer, but at the same time, I have to consider myself 
as a vice president at this time. So there is certain things that I will not ask. I'll refer that to the president or the general secretary. So I'm, I'm sorry, but I just could not answer. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm looking at your manifesto. I'm happy that you have one and you could present it to us. Uh, talk to me about the policy framework that says good governance. For you, Raymond, what does good governance entail? Good governance is the standard best practice, including all the areas like the transparency and get the level of trust yes. from, your, from your stakeholders and the wider um, football fraternity and the, the corporate Jamaica because you need them on board. So the good governance will all of the policies that we agree in principle will enforce them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It also went on to say your team would focus on rebuilding. When you say rebuilding, are you so talking from grassroots level, go right up? Will there be a lot more programs for the young girls and boys? So there will be programs for the young girls and boys. And um, we, we went even further. We have 13, 13 parish associations. One of them already stepped over the box in most of the things that we should really have done, Kasafa. And um, I, I, I believe that for us to move forward, we have to look at Kasafa policy and, and their framework and tweet it somewhere to be, get it national because they are definitely working from five-year-old up. The JFF will see those, those players boys and girls, 13. So the, the, the program that Kasafa have, we will get that program island-wide to ensure that based on that, we'll have a good base of young players, grassroots up. Yeah, before Mariah continues, the relationship between JFF and Kasafa is fractured at the moment. Are you suggesting, based on what you just said, that under Raymond Anderson's leadership, the JFF and Kasafa would have a better relationship? Yes, and um, I could go further. When I read it, when I saw the, the campaign, I, that's my first stop. And I said, if there's no Kasafa, there's no Raymond, because I will not start with a fight. I want to start with amicable discussion, and that's where we are now. Yeah, one of the things that stood out as well is revising policies uh, aimed at growth and development. Are there any policies in particular that you feel need some attention? Yes, um, but they are now revised, and um, they are now revised because we have in-house, FIFA is in-house with us, because we are restricted over the past five years. So we have a consultant from FIFA there okay. looking at the financials, looking at how we deal with best practice and that. So yes, we will actually continue looking at that and see how best we can continue to revise it and implement it mm. yeah, to ensure that when FIFA visit us, they just visit us to assist us with some more funding or some more development program, etc. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're really planning for. Yes. Yeah. Um, Raymond, you know that the, the, the sort of mood of this rivalry at the moment seems measured. Is it that when the election date is announced, we expect next week, that things will intensify and the sort of rhetoric coming from the two sides will get more aggressive? Well, I don't know if it will be aggressive, but yes. it will be more intensified, will be more because yes. that's the time we are actually, we, we met every week. We will look at our team, our team, as in both um, the people on the slate, and who will assist us, like committee heads and committee members. We meet every Tuesday, right? And we looked at it. So whenever the time call, whenever the election call, we were ready to yeah. step up our, our campaign. I, I have a difficult question for you, Raymond, because you have just spoken of um, being a vice president and in the hierarchy of the JFF for like five, four or five presidents. Yes, who, five who, presidents. Who was the best? Every president has something to contribute to the sport. And um, I'll say to you that all of them contribute, and I really thank them for the service. But what I'll do for them, I'll take what they have taught me, what they have done so far, and move it from there. Yes. And we always said, and I, I'm off to use this, from the third floor to the penthouse. Mm. So they have taken us now to the third floor, yes. and we're moving it 
Okay. The so you can't tell me who was the best. But they, you said all it, of them have yes. somewhere yeah. in that way. But you, you, you just said that you know you use things that they taught you. So yes. who, who taught you most? <laughs> <laughs> That's a question. It's a question. Um, there's two. There's two presidents that um, I uh, always have discussion with. Um, Captain May so rest in peace, and one just come from the seat. We have a lot of discussion. So, so I seek discussion from, and Box Hill. Box Hill is their errand deal. All of them, I'm telling you, all of them I have discussion with. But you just said you know? Dale, Box Hill, yeah. James, James, and Captain yeah, Borrell, Captain. and you haven't mentioned Ricketts. It no. seems as if he's the worst. No, I'm not. He's present. I'm talking about Oh, so form. the past. Okay, yes. Right, so present is present. I was so. just trying to follow your I'm line. Just, of I'm just really yes, trying yes. to be clear with that. Yes, you know? yes, yes, yes. I'm just dealing with that present and now. Present and past. So I'm just really talking about the past president. Mm. Yeah. The present president is my president. I'm his vice president. Okay, so he's not, he's not in the equation as yet. based on the question that I asked as you. As yet. As yet? You're right. Okay. He's so, my president. So, so if I ask you this question... In January, and you are now the president, and Ricketts is a past president, you could be more direct with I, your rating of his work as a president? I could be more direct in rating of all past presidents. Okay. Of all past presidents. What's your, what's your vision for Jamaica's football at the moment, given the fact that the women are on the rise, unprecedented back-to-back -back World Cup qualifications, while the men having qualified for the 1998 World Cup, historically, have not been able to um, experience those highs again? So we'll respect the men because they have taken us to one of the highest part of our history in football, 1998 World Cup. But equally, again, the female took us back to back. And um, where I sit, we also have discussion on it with my team and myself where we looked and said for us to really show some form of appreciation and upward mobility of the female, we'll ensure that we have a department for women in the JFF mm -hmm. to take it from grassroots. And up. that doesn't exist at the moment. That don't exist at this moment. So mm -hmm. when we have that, all stakeholders, including our ambassador. We'll be sitting around the table with women. That's Sidella Marley. See, right. Yes. We, we'll sit around the table with us to ensure that whatever we discuss is for the upward mobility of the sport, mm. women football. Mm. Raymond Ferguson, great. Anderson. Raymond Anderson, I'm sorry. <laughs> that was a cricketer, I think. Yeah. <laughs> great to have you on the, on the Sports Mac Zone. Um, a pleasure hearing your thoughts and your outlook for not only the campaigning period, but whatever happens after the election, whether you become the new president. Um, we hope to be discussing this further with different stakeholders. And of course, the standing president, Michael Ricketts, we would expect him to join us on the show as well to offer his, um, his, his views and uh, his uh, pronouncements as far as um, a, a future role as or continuing as president is concerned. So Raymond Anderson, thanks for joining us and we look forward to having more chats with you so, pretty soon. Thanks for having me, but I, it would be remiss of me not to say that the RSA team, the real solid action team, will be the new game plan. The All new right. game plan. The new yeah. game plan. Okay, confidence there from Raymond Anderson, Vice President at the moment of the JFF, challenging for the presidency. Okay. The election is set to come up in December. We'll be back with more on the Sports Mac Zone after this.